Hello, record nerds of the internet. Have you ever ordered any records from Brooklyn Vegan? Well, I made the mistake of trying to pre-order a record through Brooklyn Vegan, and it uh, has not gone so well. So let's talk about that. Six in the morning. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Brooklyn Vegan, they started off as like this music sort of site where they discussed different music things, mostly in the genres of, like, indie, punk, hip-hop, metal, that sort of stuff. And then at some point, they became a record store, essentially. And you can buy lots of different types of vinyl from them. Not just punk and hardcore, but you can buy, you know, Rolling Stones and all kinds of stuff. And they do a lot of pre-orders. They do a lot of exclusive variants, and I would like to tell you that they're a great company to order from, but sadly they are not. So let's dive into my story, shall we? So in November, the record from SSD was reissued. The kids will have their say. And on that day, I missed all of the records that Trust Records, the label that put this record out, was selling on their site for pre-order, so I had to find other options. So someone said that Brooklyn Vegan had this variant, so I jumped on it. And I didn't love the color, because if you've watched my other videos, you know that I really like when the color of the record matches with the cover of the record. And red clearly does not necessarily go with the black and white motif, so, but it is what it is, right? Because beggars can't be choosers. Well, later that day, I found Generation Records was doing their pre-order. And so I found this. And so this being black and white, clearly fit the motif better so i pre-ordered this too and originally i was like well i'll just cancel this pre-order and stick with this pre-order and then immediately all pre-orders sold out even the unlimited black vinyl version sold out so i'm like well i'll just keep this and then if someone i know missed it i can hook them up or you know i can flip and make more money but mostly in case someone I know needs a copy, which in fact, I do know someone who needs a copy. So uh, I have people waiting on this. Anyway, so this record from Generation Records gets shipped out on the 16th of November. It is currently the 16th of December, a month after Generation Records has shipped their record. Now, Generation Records is not an online retailer. This is a small record store in New York City. Like, this is what they are. They are this. They do not do a lot of exclusive variants. They are not some huge online retailer, as with the case of Brooklyn Vegan. However, Generation Records still found a way that they could ship out their records on time. These are some cool records here. Look at this. Cleanse the Bacteria, Jerry Skids, Sam Hain Initium. I digress. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Generation Records. Small, small record store. They can figure out how to ship out records on time. Brooklyn Vegan, big online record store, can't. And get this. Vinyl release date, December 8th. November 17th. So who's correct here? Who actually has the right release date? Well, let's go to Trust Records. November 17th. Interesting. So this is November 17th, and this is November 17th, but Ricklin Vegan has added this December 8th. That's clearly a lie. 
They, they clearly made that up. And guess what? This was not here when I pre-ordered this record. However, as I have stated, today is December 16th. December 8th was eight days ago. Do you think my record has shipped yet? No, it has not. And so about two weeks ago, I had emailed them. Hey, when is this record going to ship? No response. But then at some point after that, I noticed they added this. So I'm like, okay, maybe they'll ship it on December 8th. Well, after December 8th, and I still haven't been sent my record, I sent them another email, which they also didn't respond to. So I took it upon myself to go to the social medias, went on my Facebook, and I said, I said, hey, if anyone wants to pre-order a record, don't do it through Brooklyn Vegan because they stink. And I got some interesting responses from friends of mine, one of which said, had the same thing happen with Converge Blood Moon, ended up ordering a different version elsewhere, which showed up first. When the Brooklyn Vegan version finally showed up, it was damaged. They wouldn't replace it. They wouldn't replace a damaged record. And then another one of my friends had said, Vinyl Nerd Forums always bitching about Brooklyn Vegan. And then another one of my friends said that Revolver slash Brooklyn Vegan are awful about shipping. I don't know about Revolver. I've I'm not, Maybe I've never ordered from Revolver either. Um, I had tagged Brooklyn Vegan and Trust Records in my post. Magically, after that, I got a response. And my response was potentially worse than the non-response. It says, we're experiencing delays with this product. Which implies that they have not yet received the records from Trust Records. Which sounds... Impossible, since Trust Records have already sent out all the records. Like anyone who's ordered their records from anyone, like the Generation Records, from Trust Records, from Revelation Records, they've received their records. So how are they experiencing a delay? And then it says, we're hoping for December 2023. Well, it's mid-December 2023. And the end of December is a nightmare because of Christmas and the New Year's. I really doubt they're sending this out before the end of the year. And then it says, our apologies. Let us know if you want to keep your order or cancel it. Well, why would I cancel it at this point? It's a rare record because you can't find them. And it says, we hope you don't cancel, but we're happy to assist either way. Well, I responded to that. And that was December 13th. And I did not get a response to my response. Because I basically called them out and saying, you're full of it. Because everyone else shipped theirs out already. So... You're full of crap. So then I updated my Facebook post and a little response. And I said, finally got a response to the email. This is their answer. We are experiencing delays with this product. We are hoping for December 2023. Our apologies. This seems to imply that they haven't received their record from Trust Records, which sounds like BS. Trust Records responds with, that's not on us. Of course, Brooklyn Vegan is lying out their vegan buttholes. They're lying when they said this. They're lying that they are experiencing delays. The only delay is that you can't get your crap together and send out records. And so if you do a Google search on Brooklyn Vegan, you will find many people who have similar issues. It's not just me and my friends. It is anyone who orders from Brooklyn Vegan. So I would suggest that if you're looking at vinyl and Brooklyn Vegan has something you want, I would suggest you not ordering it from them. I would suggest you order it from someone else. And if you're a label and Brooklyn Vegan wants to do a variant with you, I would tell them to go F themselves because they're going to screw over your customers. Because even though they're Brooklyn Vegan's customers, they're your customers as well. I would suggest going with people who don't suck. Oh yeah, and another thing. Just in case you didn't think that Brooklyn Vegan was sketchy enough, get this. Say you want to buy this. You add it to your cart. You view it in your cart. Look what they add. They add this little thing here. Protect from loss, damage, or theft for 99 cents. And you don't even realize it until you check out that it's there. 
And then by this point, you're not even paying attention. And guess what? I bet you there was no way they would ever, ever cover anything for this 99 cents. Like, this is just completely sketchy. I can't believe that they do this. Brooklyn Vegan, you can suck it.